This is my review of the Epson 3700 home theater. Uh, this is a 70,000 to 1 contrast ratio with 3,000 lumens. Um, for the screen here, I have simply painted it gray. Now I've read, did a lot of research on this. You do not want to use white, but you want to use a like a, a really light gray because that'll give you better contrast ratios. Um, this this is a 1080p uh, as well as 3D projector. Um, I did a lot of research on what to buy because I didn't want to spend a ton of money, um, yet I wanted to still get something that that was able to look great even with the lights on. So this projector definitely filled all those needs. Um, and right now at Best Buy you can get this for uh, right around $1,200 uh, plus tax. Um, let me think. So this is a viewable from 29.9 inches to 300 inches. Uh, right now I have it at roughly 170 inches, um, which is pretty substantial. Um, you know, I would have probably even had it a little bit larger um, if I wouldn't have mounted it there, if I would have mounted it a little bit farther back. Um, the way the screen adjusts, you have two adjustments here and two adjustments here. Uh, if you watch this first adjustment here, now remember this is upside down because I haven't mounted that way. Um, this first adjustment right here is going to move the projector up and down. Now this is just the, the lens moving up and down, it's not the actual projector itself. Um, as well as this one side to side. Now you have this, this knob here. Um, now when I do this, you can see it zooms in, it zooms out. Now I'm all the way out. If I would have put it back farther I could have got a lot larger screen out of it. Uh, this other dial here, all this does, oh, my Xbox here, all this does is you can see now it's blurry. Well, if I focus it in, focus it in. Um, there is an options in the menu, or I'm sorry, there is an option in the menu that allows uh, crosshairs that help you really, really tune it in. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go to entertainment. Now let me turn it down. I have the surround sound turned up way too loud. Uh, Ignore the holes there and the, and the surround sound laying on the ground. My children did that. Sorry for the blur there. Okay. Alright, now I'll go ahead and play this uh, video real quick for you. This is a really dark video, so I thought it would be good to um, show you with all the lights on down here. It looks way better than from what I can see on my phone here. In person, it looks significantly better. Uh, it's got a lot richer tone. Skin colors look more real. So I'm trying to get a close up here. Again, this phone does not do, do it any justice, but. Uh, it does look great. So, <clears throat> some of the difficult things are just, you know, when you make the screen there, lining it up perfect. Let me get this to focus in real quick. Sorry, guys. There we go. Alright. So, let's go home now. So, so far I've been really impressed. Uh, I could have made it a lot larger, but it's perfect for a home theater if you're, you know, wanting to do that in your basement. Uh, it uses a 250 watt lamp. Um, they roughly last, I believe, like 5,000 hours, but I've been told they last a lot less than that because I guess there's a mode or something in here that you have to put it on, like Eco or something that that allows it to last longer. I have it right now set to high dynamic and uh, you know get the most out of my viewing. Um, I haven't tried the 3D on it yet, um, but from what I've been told, it's pretty awesome. 
Um, the, the speakers that come on the unit itself, not the greatest. They'll work, but I definitely recommend upgrading. So that's my review.